Good afternoon, welcome to our homestead. I'm gonna show you a great method for removing stumps from your property. You may have seen parts of this method before, but I'm gonna show you one special trick that has helped us get rid of these really quickly. I probably have about 25 stumps and I'm just not going to hire a company with a stump grinder to come and grind all these because that would just be too expensive. Let me show you the two methods that I've done in the past with other stumps. And one is far superior to the other and that one I'm gonna show you today. So here's the first method. This was a sweet gum tree that was in the way of our grape trellis. So I took it down and I cut this stump low, drilled some holes in it, and then filled those holes with Epsom salt. Now, as you can see, the stump is still here. I can easily get this out with a shovel or a pickaxe and just chop at it and that would be it. You could also see though that it sprouts. It sprouts from the roots near the base of where the stump was. And that can be an issue with many different trees. They want to come back over time. And this one even has some green on it. So even though this is completely rotted out, it's actually full of ants also, it still wants to live. It still wants to come back. That means those roots under the soil are still viable and they will produce another tree. Let me show you what I did to another sweet gum tree where I modified this method just a little bit and the results are totally different. As you can see, there's pretty much nothing left of this one, just a little bit on the side and it's completely dead. I did a similar method on this one. It was a sweet gum. I cut them down around the same time and I applied the Epsom salts to this one as well. So why is this one completely gone and the other one is pretty much still standing and sprouting from the roots. Let me show you why and what I did. First thing we're gonna do is take this stump down as close to the ground as we possibly can without sticking our chain in the dirt. When I get it down as low as I can, I'm gonna come around the edges and round it off. I learned that from Wrangler Star. If you've never seen his channel, it's a good channel. His old stuff is good, it's very informative. Um, so watch the older stuff, it's great. So the reason I'm gonna round that off is it's much better if you're walking through here or especially driving through here with your tractor or your truck, it's gonna be much easier for your tires to go over the top of it. Let's get that done, then I'll show you the next step that's gonna make this rot really fast. Okay, now that we've got it as close to the ground as we can, what we're gonna do is take our chainsaw and we're gonna cut grooves in it in a checkerboard pattern. And we're, we are going to put our blade down into the stump as far as we possibly can. And that's gonna do a few different things. Number one, that's going to give the Epsom salt much more surface area to work with down inside the stump. That is way better than doing the small holes from a drill. Now, yes, you can use a bigger drill bit than I did on the other one or that's shown on many videos out there. And you can drill more holes for more surface area. But in my opinion, this works way better. If you're chopping down the stump anyway, then you might as well just use your chainsaw and use this method because it worked incredibly well for me. Not only will it give the Epsom salt more surface area to work with and decay the tree quicker, but if that Epsom salt does get washed out, then there is gonna be a lot of water that is sitting down in the stump causing rot, and that will further decay this stump even faster. Let me show you how I cut that checkerboard pattern into it. Now you can see we've got this checkerboard pattern of extremely deep grooves down into the stump where our Epsom salt is going to sit and water is going to sit also. This stump will be gone in no time. Now you can put as much or as little Epsom salt in here as you want. I'm not going to give you a specific amount, but this magnesium sulfate 
is beneficial to plants, but in high doses like this, it's toxic and it'll cause a uh, breakdown really fast of the wood itself and any living tissue that's still in the stone. So just fill it up. And this way too, if it does rain a lot, it's not gonna wash away as quickly as that other method with the holes. Well, that's it friends. If you're taking these trees down yourself, it's just a little bit extra chainsaw work at the end. No big deal. And these Epsom salts are really cheap at Walmart. There's no need to cover this up with a tarp and put things over it and check it every so often and wet down the Epsom salts. It's really not necessary. It's not that complicated. Cut the grooves, put the Epsom salt in, and it will disappear pretty quickly. We hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments section below. Now go check out this video right here, which shows you how to start a brand new garden bed in the middle of a field that hasn't been tended to in years. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.